Our exhortation this morning comes from Psalm 56. We will be singing this psalm in a few moments, so I won't read the whole thing now. But I do want to highlight a couple of things for you to consider as you are singing it. Well, first, the introduction to this psalm tells us that it was written when David was seized or captured by the Philistines in Gath. Well, the bigger context here is this. Saul is pursuing David in order to kill him. David flees to Gath for safety, knowing that the Philistines would seize him. Think about that. Goliath was from Gath. This event here is taking place just a few years after David killed Goliath and defeated the, the Philistines. And yet he is fleeing to this city because it is a better option than staying in Israel. But the second thing here is that this was also a calculated decision. It's politically motivated because David knows that God has called him to a particular task. He is running headlong into something difficult because he had been anointed as, king, as the king of Israel. And David is trusting that God will protect him as he walks into the camp of the enemy, alone and vulnerable. And this is the theme of Psalm 56. Trusting in God when you are afraid. For David, he had enemies behind him and enemies in front of him. And, and he was afraid. But in verse 3, he says this, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. This is what we are called to do. And we may not have enemies coming at, after us in the same way David did, but we do have an enemy that hates us. He, and he is on the prowl. He's on the prowl for our marriages, for our families, and our churches. And he wants to destroy the things that God uses to extend his kingdom. And the weapons he uses are pride, envy, bitterness, anger, selfishness, and fear. And the reason he is often successful is because we do not trust our Heavenly Father the way that David did. But this is why he gave you this psalm. When you sing it, let it convict you, and then repent of your fears, your pride, your selfishness, and trust in the Lord. Like David, he has called you to difficult things. Marriage is difficult. Loving your wife as Christ loved the church, extremely difficult. Submitting to your husband in everything, exceptionally difficult. Raising children is difficult. Honoring and obeying your parents is difficult. Trusting God in your singleness is immensely difficult. But nevertheless, trust in the Lord and do the difficult things He has called you to do. And do them without fear, believing these words as you sing them now. This I know, that God is for me. Let us continue to prepare our hearts for confession by singing hymn number 107.